Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rich. Uh, welcome back. I'm going to show you my process of paying for paying for freight from Nigeria. Uh, as you know, if you've been following me, we have actually expanded our business operations to start focusing primarily on Nigerian imports uh, as opposed to China. So we are actually uh, you know, putting our foot on the gas pedal and focusing more on Nigeria and less on China. So I have been super, super um, happy about where we are so far with both our agent in Lagos and our freight forwarder who works with me here in the United States as well as Nigeria they have been super efficient super efficient and I didn't expect that you know I, I, I didn't go into it expecting efficiency I went into this uh, prepping and sort of like gearing myself for roadblocks here and there bumps on the road 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 here and there and ultimately disappointments here and there but for my experience so far I've had none of those uh, knock on wood I'm excited I have confidence in this process and uh, confidence in my supply chain um, which includes obviously our agent in Lagos who is responsible for our sourcing and procurement as well as our um, free forwarder ship to Niger.com. I'm going to show you how I pay for shipping. Okay, so I'm trying to log on here. I'm just going to turn the camera around and point it at my screen. So here it is. There it is. Okay. I'm just logging in. And my ship to Niger account so I'm gonna head over to my shipments I have a couple of shipments in the queue and scrolling down here you look at a shipment right here that says the 8424 shipment it's inside the Nigerian um, Isolo that's at, in, um, at Ajao estate so they've received it. My delivery um, agent delivered it to the warehouse this morning. I got a call from the agent in Nigeria. That's how efficient they are. You actually talk to someone there that confirms that they received the item and all is good to go. So I'm going to show details here. This is a small order. I'm going to go... So verify that the quantity is correct. And as you notice, the air basic here is 5770. Oh, sorry. I am not selecting this because this one takes a longer. Okay, so I'm expecting to, I mean, the expected delivery date for the air basic is about two weeks. I need to get this product to market ASAP. So I'm gonna select the air priority and that is uh, shipping via DHL and uh, transit time for this air priority is about three to five business days so that's what I'm going to select pull my credit card here okay so it's just loading and doing this thing okay so I have selected the air priority for $76.90. Everything looks good. The chargeable weight is about is 8 pounds and 46 ounces at $13. I don't know, I think it's up to $13 per kilo is what they charge. So anyway, my fee is $76.90. So I'm gonna go to checkout. Okay, so everything looks good. Um, hit the checkout button again, and this takes me to our contact information page. All my information looks good. The ship to address looks good. Shipping to Vegas. I'm gonna continue. 
and uh, it says a visa, valid for visa and MasterCard. Unfortunately, they don't take American Express, which is sad because I would love to, to you know, keep on accruing points. So they don't accept American Express. I'm just going to select Visa, MasterCard, and I'm going to pay with my Visa card. So I have made the payment. So I've made the payment. Um, the next step, they will send me an email confirmation and then the package will get picked up by DHL to be delivered to me in Las Vegas, Nevada, United States. It's that easy. Do not be intimidated to do business in Nigeria. The most important thing that you obviously want to do is identify the sort of business that you want to do. We focus more on fashion, specifically men's fashion. We are also investors in Nigeria. We have a land uh, at a bedroom lake in Lagos. We have property in Akwaibom State, where I'm originally from. And uh, that's just what we're doing, you know. So this is a small family business um, owned and operated by me, myself, and my wife. And uh, our two-year-old daughter, <laughs> Jeanette, who helps us occasionally with shipping. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not very difficult uh, to do business in Nigeria. I think the critical thing is you do as fast as you can, as fast as practical rather, I would visit Nigeria, get yourself to Nigeria, learn the market, learn what people are doing. The Nigeria is ripe for investment and I can't emphasize this, I can't emphasize this enough. Invest in Nigeria. The last few years has been in China. As mentioned, we are phasing out of China into Nigeria. Uh, how much do you need to start a business? I actually got this question on on, on YouTube. Um, you don't really need a lot. Running a successful or a promising business really isn't about money. You, you, you have to just start with a passion for something. Start with something that you know. We choose the fashion space because that's what I know. Now, as we expand into other ventures where my expertise is limited, I am going to bring on consultants and uh, people that I trust who have been in that space to sort of lead that venture while, while, I, um, while I provide guidance. But fashion is our bread and butter. It really starts with that. Find with, you know, start with something that you know, something that you are passionate about, Something that you're going to enjoy waking up every single day to do. I work sometimes till 2 o'clock in the morning. Like, I literally get bombarded with text messages from my wife saying, come to bed, come to bed, come to bed. Like, that's how passionate I am about this business. It's just waking up every day with a passion for something. That is the most important thing. The money is not an issue. You don't need a million naira to start a business. You, you don't really need that much. You know, you just have to have a passion for something and a little bit of investment capital, whether it's $500, whether it's $200, you can start with something and build from there. The most important thing is define what you want to do, define your target audience, and create high quality product for that target audience. Customer service is also a part of running a business. We are beyond excited, if I'm being honest, to finally start doing business back home. And my wife and I, we had a conversation about this. We are adding and contributing to the GDP of Nigeria. We are creating jobs, um, adding substance and money into the local economy in Nigeria. And uh, we are exporting Nigerian goods overseas. Uh, we wake up every day. We love this. We love this. We love what we do. We love, eventually we're going to create sort of like a philanthropic aspect, uh, a philanthropic category of the business. We're going to create that too to where we plan on developing more boreholes in the village. 
Um, if you have not looked at my videos, go into my channel and just take your time and just binge watch uh, the content, the library of content that we have on there. You will see the sort of people that we are and, and the sort of uh, ventures that we are into. I think you're really going to be very, very impressed as um, we are. So we love the feedback. We appreciate the feedback, we appreciate the questions, and uh, it's only going to keep going on from here. So I have, I have, um, so with that said, I have two shipments coming in from Nigeria. We are also going to be importing what I'm wearing right now, which is this beautiful, proudly African Ankara tie-dyed shirt that I bought in Lagos and uh, based on popular demand I get a lot of uh, compliments on it so we figured we are going to share this with the world so uh, our agent in Nigeria has a project on her hand she's currently sourcing this we're gonna be bringing this in in quantity and uh, in addition to importing ready-made product we also have plans to buy raw materials and start designing and producing our own line of apparel uh, ranging from pajamas and cara soft and cara um, material pajamas for men um, and uh, native up and down suit attire for men there's definitely a, a demand in 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 a, in a diaspora for goods uh, such as what i've just mentioned and then we are also looking into more accessories and uh, leather shoes all made in Nigeria. We are proud to support Nigeria. We love the country. It's where we are from. There's just no escaping it and we are looking forward to doing more business in Nigeria. So if you have any questions whatsoever, if I can be of any, any resource to you, uh, feel free to reach, feel free to reach out to me um, via WhatsApp or just post a comment in the comment description section wherever you're watching this video from and I will do my very best to respond to you in a timely manner uh, what else do I have to share with you I don't have anything else to share with you right now but in the next video I am going to show um, the order that's on its way so we're gonna do sort of like an unboxing like, ooh, unboxing I think that would be a cool cool content for you Yes, so expect unboxing of the product from Nigeria. You are going to go through it with us. We're going to check the quality. We're going to check the fit. This black hat that I'm wearing. Bought it in, in a Kwaibum state. So yeah, if you are, if there's any other content that you want us to produce, what's actually unique before I go about what we are doing is we are showing you our process. We want to take you through that process as opposed to uh, just being a talking head video telling people what to do, what they should do and not really showing them. So that's the unique proposition that we bring to our content is we are showing you our process beautiful as they may be, flawed as they may be. We think it's only fair to just show you everything uh, because business is not perfect. Business doesn't really run smoothly. It's not really uh, something that you wake up every day and every day is a well, um, well run oil machine. I don't know if I put that correctly. But that's what we're going to try to do. I've been up since 2.30 a.m. working with my team in Nigeria to make sure everything runs smoothly and the orders are on their way here. I should probably stop rambling now um, and uh, let you go. As always, thank you kindly for viewing our videos and for sharing, commenting, and subscribing. We appreciate it. We've seen an increase in our subscribers and it's all because of you. We can't thank you enough. We really appreciate it. Take your time if you're thinking about business in Nigeria. Ask the right questions. Don't run into anything. Don't do anything based on emotions. Okay, you have to really be practical 
and you have to be pragmatic in your approach to business, especially business that you're running from abroad, the business that you're not physically there in Nigeria to manage. So do yourself that service. Take your time, be patient, trust but verify. Make sure that you are always in control uh, because if you leave the decision-making aspect of your business to the team back home, you are setting yourself up for failure. So do your due diligence. It's just the way it is. Make sure that all the decision-making is coming from you or your business partner. In this case, it's my wife, Kate. Before we do anything, from ordering to sourcing, before we do anything, we sit down together as a team and we brainstorm and we agree on a path forward, okay? Even though you may see me as the face of the business, behind the scenes, right by my side, it's my wife right there, and once Jeanette, our daughter, gets old enough to be able to contribute, she's gonna come into the fold and be a part of the business. So we are a team, and I think that that's what you need on your side, you need a strong team that wants the best for the company and, uh, and the best for the overall objective that you are planning to accomplish. So that is all that I'm going to leave that with you today. I hope you are having a great day and thanks for tuning in and be sure to like, share and comment. My name is Richard Barricat and uh, it's, it's, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Have a pleasant day. Take care.